Copy of Glamour Cat magazine. Wow, look at these swell looking cats. All dressed up for a night out at a fancy cat nightclub. That's what we need, right here in this neighborhood. And I'm just the cat to do it. What do you want, Heathcliff? Yeah, Heathcliff, those are nice looking cats. Hmm. like that. If you want to try it, go ahead. But count me out. Ah, I can see it now. The Copaca Heathcliff. Hey, guys, check out this photo I found in Glamour Cat magazine. Wow. They me some fancy-looking cats. Exactly. Those cats could be us. Us? Well, well uh, maybe not maybe you. Maybe not you. How could we be like those fine felines, Heathcliff? I'm gonna open up a cat club, the Copa Ka Heathcliff. Swell. We'll be happy to hang out there. You won't be uh, hanging out there. You'll be working there. Working? working? No, no way. way. Whoa! 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 What time do we report for work, boss? I'm hungry. Think I'll go fix a little snack. Dum doo dee doo day doo dum doo dee bubble. Hey! What's going on? You know the Boy Scout motto, Spike. Be prepared. It's finished. Now to take care of some business. Uh, we've got a deal. You'll be the singer in my new club. If you guys want a party, come to Copa Cahithcliff tonight. Psst. Have you heard about the Copa Cahithcliff? It's the hottest place in town. See you tonight at Copa Cahithcliff. Be there tonight, Copa Cahithcliff. See you tonight. Be there, Copa Cahithcliff. Great place. Tonight. Tonight. <laughs> Being a big business tycoon is sure hard work. 
Nice to see you, Joe. I'm very happy to see you having a nice time. Uh, make yourself at home. It's nice to see you. Uh, hi, hi, Spikey. Uh, nice to see you. Nice to see me nothing. You stole our dog houses. Stole? Stole? I didn't steal them, Spikey. I just borrowed them. Well, we're just gonna borrow them back. We figure as how this place is built out of our dog houses, it ought to belong to the dogs. So we're taking over our new dog club. Now, now, wait a minute, Spikey. We can work things out. Since when can't dogs and cats live harmoniously together? No way. They're our dog houses and our nightclub. Right, guys? Yeah. Uh, maybe you're right, Heathcliff. Uh, what did you have in mind? Look, Spike, no sense in ruining a nice evening. Hey, you dogs are dressed to party, so come on in. Hey, you dogs take this side of the room. Yes, yeah, Scram. And the cats will stay over there. Yeah, we'll all have a good time, yeah. Ready, Scram, I'm ready, we'll like Oh, no, no, no way. Yeah, oh, okay, well. You got a deal. This place is really going to the dogs. Hey, watch where you're going! You watch where you're going, cat! I beg your pardon? That's perfectly all right. Accidents will happen. Oh, no. Boys, boys, please. No need for fighting. What are you trying to do, wreck my joint? Oh, yeah? Take that! Stop it, stop it! You can't do this! <laughs> ladies, ladies, please, cut it out. Not again. <laughs> Boy, this is a rough joint. Come me. Wait, 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 stop. No, 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 please, no. Stop! Oh! How could they do this to me? All this hard work for nothing. Yo! Heathcliff, this is a great place. Hey, Heathcliff, what's the matter? Well, if you can't beat him, join him. <laughs> Heathcliff, Heathcliff speaking. 
Yeah, yeah, we're open. Yeah, come on down. Let's party! Hey, Heathcliff, thanks a lot. We had a great time. I'm glad you had a good time, Spike. Uh, here, I got something for you. What? Oh. It's your bill, Spikey. For breaking furniture, for wrecking a bandstand, broken dishes, throwing food, spilling milk, and the cover charge. What do you think of the remodeling job, Cleo? You should be real proud of the boys. They've done the impossible. They made it look worse than before. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Quiet! That's better. You guys are making the worst racket I ever heard. And I'll tell you something else. I... But that dog is starting to bum me out. He looks so blue, it's bumming me too. Yeah, he hasn't yelled at us all day. Maybe he's sick. You guys are unbelievable. Can't you tell he's in love? You gotta be kidding. Leroy with a date? Your sense of humor is great. <laughs> Boy, talk about a bunch of insensitive creeps. Hey. What are you so uptight about, Cleo? I just realized that love's a joke to you. If you don't help Leroy, then you can just forget about us, too. You want it? You got it. Me and the boys will turn that hound into a great lover in no time. Hey, but how's he ever gonna find that babe again? I know who she is. Her owners are customers at the music store. I'll go get the address. You just take care of Leroy. Your wish is my command, oh light of my life. Suppose I don't feel like helping that fur bag. Then I'll write to you every day in the hospital. Now, all in favor of helping Leroy, say aye. 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 I saw that poodle you were staring at this morning. She's the most beautiful thing on earth. How'd you like me to fix you up with her? You mean it? <laughs> you really mean it? <laughs> yeah, but calm down, man. First thing we gotta do is get you cleaned up. I got an idea. Now for the grooming. If you're gonna put the moves on a chick, you gotta look cool. What's wrong with the way I look? I'd love to take the time to tell you, but I got a date with Cleo in two weeks. Now get in the chair. Ready. Do it. Come on, we ain't got all day. Just another minute. Will you hurry up? He's done. Now close your eyes, Riff Raff. Close your eyes. I promise it'll be worth it. Ta-da! You can open them now. What? Well, Riff, what do you think? <laughs> he never looked better. Are you sure she lives here? That's the address the music store had. Here, give her these. Women love flowers. I got the message. Now this is class. Uh-oh. Hey, Brett, look at the puppy. Tell him we gave at the office. 
Now what, Einstein? Just follow my lead. Those dogs will never let me in. I can't believe what I'm hearing. You, Leroy, afraid of a couple of house pets? I'm not exactly afraid. Uh, of course he's not. Man, he's the king of the junkyard. Uh, yeah, just his name strikes fear in our hearts. What do you have to say now? Those pooches better not get in my way. Open this door right now! Hey, look, the puppy's back. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have any idea who you're messing with? I'm the king of this neighborhood. Just the mention of my... Oops! One, two, three! <laughs> You're never going to meet this girl if you keep fooling around. Okay, just remember everything I taught you and don't look down. thing, pal. I got another great idea. All you gotta do is swing on this rope right into her arms. Pretty smart, huh? I'm not so sure this is a good idea. And what ideas does that give you? Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> great. Now we'll never know what happened. It's probably just Fifi blow drying her hair. Let's go check. Your lover boy's coming, Fifi! Ah! Oh no! Oh! Hi! <laughs> just consider this the price we pay for love. But, Cleo, I did my best. I guess when the chips were down, you just couldn't come through. What? We all have to learn to accept failure, even you. Failure? Me? I'll show you. Hey, guys, get over here. Move it. Move it. We've got work to do. We're getting that dog in, and we're doing it now. Gather round. I got a plan. Let's do it. You're just gonna lay there, or are you gonna go after the girl of your dreams? It's hopeless. Yeah, if you keep talking and don't do anything, those dogs are just bullies. You can handle them. Yeah, I've done great with them so far. That's because you've been trying to reason with them. Don't tell them you're tougher, show them. Get up there, growl, grit your teeth, and those guys will run so fast you won't get a chance to say goodbye. You really think so? I personally guarantee it. Now get up there, champ, and show them who's boss. I'll do it. Hey, you two overgrown flea bags, get out here. <laughs> I guess they knew I wasn't kidding around this time. <laughs> Look at all that food. Here's dog food to go to help you. I think you're beautiful. Well, you wouldn't be so bad yourself if you would do something about that hair. I mean, honestly, you walk around looking like that. 
Phew. Another thing I've seen where you live. Ugh, what a dump. Mm. It really needs a woman's touch. No, no, maybe it would look better over there. No, 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 no. On second thought, maybe over there. Well, at least they're together. Try and tell that to Leroy. Look, I can't help you if you don't want to cooperate. Oh. <laughs> Personally, my favorite choice for a pet would be a kitten. But I know some of you like puppies. Now, if you go to the pet store or a bet at the pound to pick out a puppy, he or she should be between seven and ten weeks old. Oh, uh, did I mention my second favorite food, a pet, is uh, tropical fish? 